Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and welcome to episode 20 of Android Tips on CurseForward TV. So in the last episode, we were taking a look at the first five apps on the top 10 multitasking apps for Android. So let's take a look at the other five apps in this video. So once again, guys, keep in mind, though the title of the video says Galaxy S4, it's just because I'm demonstrating it on the Galaxy S4. These apps should work fine on almost any Android phone or tablet that you might have. So app number six on the list is Home Flip. So this is Home Flip. What it does is it shows you all the apps that are currently running. So if you want to save anything as a favorite, you just pull it to the left. So say I use, I want contacts as a favorite, settings, my files. So I've got this. If I want to hide something, I can quickly hide it. I can just swipe it and hide it. All right. So these are your current open apps and these are the ones shown by Home Flip. So let's quickly open up Home Flip again. All right. So we have four icons over here. This one is to show you all the apps that are running, including the ones that you've hidden. All right. So say, for example, I hide Google search and contacts as well. I open it up and it shows all those that are hidden. This one is to unpack it as in unpack it out of the box again so uh, it's not hidden anymore if you want to hide something you need to hide it again all right so this takes you into settings and this just puts everything to the side so all right let me quickly jump into settings over here so first off you've got general settings a left-handed mode uh, you've got reverse task sorter full screen on-screen menu and so on so you can just you've got quite a few options uh, restore hidden tasks on click show all apps you can also set it to show every app on your phone instead of just currently open apps uh, you can ex exclude launchers from this list show only favorites if you set favorites then it you can have it just show the favorites so so if i have only show favorites set up and try to launch it i see only my favorites show up no more recent apps or all apps so then you've got the number of smart tasks Haptic feedback, sort the favorites, automatic or manual. And then you've got animation options. You've got a lot of options here, but most of them are self-explanatory. So you also have some activation options, like you can, la you can launch Home Flip via the Home key. Uh, this doesn't work with a few devices, so uh, keep that in mind. The swipe activation is what I've been showing you. And here you have which area that the swipe activation works from. In this case, we've set, I've set it from the right top corner this would be the right top this is to the side and then the hotspot size you can change that and you can also change the gesture radius so then you've got theme options so so far i've been taking a look at the holo theme this is the normal theme so there you see this is the normal theme kind of going back then you've got for font options and again a lot more uh, customization options so that's multitasking app number six home flip so guys the next multitasking app on this list is the gesture launcher so i've, I've set it to launch from the left corner so that's gesture launcher so that opens up chrome so i can access it from here as well so how this works is uh let me just go back go into gesture launcher So over here, you can just add gestures for different applications. So here I'm going to just add, uh, add an app, say for example, Dropbox. And uh, let me just register a gesture. Okay, register. Okay, so now, and there you see Dropbox opens up. So with the gesture launcher, you've got quite a few options. So you've got the ninja mode, which uh, lets you remove any widget on, I mean, the widget on screen so that uh, you can have a cleaner home screen interface. You've got ranking. Ranking kind of shows which apps you uh, use a lot. I mean, that you launch a lot from uh, the gesture launcher. And then you've got options on how to launch uh, the gesture launcher, whether you can launch it from the sides, uh, the on screen area and size. Uh, the detection area on screen and so on. You can also enable it to be ever present on the notification bar. 
and you've got theme options you've been seeing the dark theme now it also has a light theme and the color can also be changed color of uh, the gesture that you record and then you've got the icon layout that is the uh, add new okay let me just show you that so let me just make it left aligned and the wait time is how long it takes for a particular app to be launched so now i've just set it to 0 0.5 seconds so now going back now you see it's aligned to the left so swiping opens up and there you see dropbox is up now again open up chrome launched so that's just a launcher for you guys all right guys the next app on the list is sidebar so this is sidebar you can set a list of apps that you want over here, that show up over here so you can also have toggles over here so say for example my wi-fi toggle i can add another one for sound so tap on it adjust sound so you can just swipe to get this now if i just going in to show you how it works that side by light uh start on boot you've got you can adjust the thickness the animation speed you just reduce it uh the transitions cannot be changed in the free version free version and then you've got sensitivity the position left or right so it's pretty simple uh, just a few options here so there you go now you see because you see the channel the size has changed so you can add apps and toggles to it so that's sidebar light so the next app on the list is smart taskbar 2 so how it works is you've got this icon over here that's floating so you can uh, place it anywhere you want and no matter where you are be it in the uh, internet browser or the app drawer it's always going to be there you just tap on it and it gives you access to all your apps you can also select a few uh, apps that you launch quite often over here you've got toggles over here that's Wi-Fi the airplane mode Bluetooth you can also create your own pages say for example I've got one called mine here and you can just uh, drag and drop an app to that page uh, if you don't want to drag and drop it but just hit done tap and hold it hit manage and now i've moved to mine as well have it featured on mine as well so now if, when you go to my the new page that you set up you'll have that app there so you can classify apps this way you can add apps extra apps here yeah, you've got toggles there and uh, you can even have widgets uh, like this so tapping on, on the widget now uh, will give you the widget uh, dimming out the whole background there so it helps you save space on your screen, helps you quickly uh, switch between apps and so on. Uh, it even lets you easily uninstall stuff. So tap and hold it and you can uninstall. You can uninstall the clock, obviously, since it's the system app, but anything that you've downloaded and installed, like say for example, app swipe that I have here, that's it, uninstalled. And by default, you also have your tasks that are currently running displayed in a separate page. Uh, you've got your internet and location. These are the default classifications that are given. So that's pretty much it about Smart Taskbar uh, V2. So it's pretty handy. Uh, you can just close it this way. Just swiping on it closes it. So that's that. So guys, the last app on the list is Wave Launcher. So let me show you how it works. So first, let me just add a couple of apps here. Camera, chat on, clock contacts just to uh, just for demonstration purposes so now no matter where I am I can just swipe up from the bottom and there you see there's a wave that shows uh, the list of apps that I've set up so it works from anywhere again just like the other apps on this list so say for example I'm in the browser there you see I can write from the clock So it has quite a few customization options as well. So let's quickly go into Wave Launcher. It works with any other launcher out there. So say you have Go Launcher running as your default launcher, you can slap this on top of that as well. So this is to edit the wave. You can also add a couple of features like a, a contact, a direct director add a contact, or open up a bookmark, a direct directly message someone. So basically shortcuts that you can set up. 
and this is for widgets so let's say I select assistive light here and replace it and you can also select the app draw so let's replace it with the app draw all right let's see how this works now give it a moment to save it and there you have app draw and there you get all your apps so similarly there you have assistive light and now uh, the widget kind of hover, hovers on screen as in you can still use the screen and the widget is kind of on top so i can use the assistive light turn it off and hit the x to close it so guys similarly right now i've got the music uh, widget and the youtube widget as well so there you see i can jump into messaging i can jump into internet but my music player widget is still on top so i can play something pause it and close it when i'm done the same way you've got the youtube widget as well so it works with quite a lot of quite a, quite a few widgets there and it actually actually helps multitask a lot so i've got the edit colors option so here you can uh, change the color of the wave of the wave you can change the color of the label and the label background as well and then you've got the calibration options you've got the settings enable on startup disable in landscape uh, you've got the persistent notification which means it shows that it's running in the notification bar you've got a long press option i mean the action the long press time recent mode means uh, what it does is it just shows the recent apps over here so if you just want to switch between apps that is a, another another thing that you could possibly do so taking that off the number of user apps number of recent apps you can select that as well smart recent is if i say i have the browser as a favorite icon that shows up on the wave and if it's running in the background it will not be duplicated so you've got wave colors animation so you've got a lot of uh, a lot of options over here and most of them are self-explanatory and when you're adding stuff to the wave just tapping it over here creates a folder and you get you can add stuff to the folder so let's say i'm adding all these to this folder so now when i pull the wave out and then the folder you can see and you can again select the one you want so that's a second level uh, of apps that you can access right from the wave You can even put a widget inside the folder. There you go. So that's Wave Launcher app number 10 on our must have list of apps for Android devices. So if you guys did like the video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It's free and every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Uh, I will be coming out with more similar videos, uh, more Android tip videos, more re reviews, comparisons, modifications tutorials and so on so don't forget to stay subscribed and if you guys have any video requests for me or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates you can hit me up on facebook twitter google plus all my contact details are in the description so that's pretty much it for now uh what do you guys think is there any other multitasking app that i've left out here do you think there's something that should have been in the list let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys soon with my next video till then it's ash here from cursforward.com signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now